What's going on guys? <laughs> MG here and I'm back. Thank you. With yet another cryptocurrency video. Um Yeah. Happy holidays, happy Christmas. You know what I'm saying? Yule actually burned a uh burned some logs for Yule, you know what I'm saying? So uh, yeah, I hope everyone had a good holiday. You know what I'm saying? Now we're back on the fucking grind, right? Back on the crypto grinds. Uh, but, you know, what else is new, right? Um, so, yeah, let's get into it, guys. So, let's take a look at Lux. Again, man, happy holidays. I, ugh, Mine was so good. Ate so much good food. Ate too much good food. Too much cookies. Too much, too much candies. Tons of fucking presents, and by presents, I mean claim, claiming and ending stakes, mint stakes, you know what I'm saying, fucking buying more crypto for myself, right? Happy Christmas to me, you know what I'm saying? Of course I was buying stuff for my family too, come on guys. But uh, yeah, it was good, it was good, it was real good. I hope, I, I hope it was good for everyone as well, you know what I'm saying? Let's, let's keep the spirits high. You know, as we as we enter, as we go deep, balls deep into 2023, right? So, um, let's just do a quick, uh, you know, just a market overview, real quick. Let's just do the top the top 20 here. We got BTC. Actually, you know what? It's been a long time, <laughs> a long time. Market cap 837 billy down 0.7 percent. We are officially below the previous previous all time high in the 2017 bull market. Oh. 24 trading volume 32 billy. BTC dominance 38.3 percent. ETH dominance 17.3 and gas is two figs across the board. 18 for fast, 18 for standard, and 16 for safe. So we got Big Daddy Bitcoin here at 16,645 dollars. You know, no Santa rally, you know what I'm saying? It was Krampus's rally, you feel me? So Krampus was out here dropping coal in everyone's portfolio, but that's fine. If you're disappointed in the coal, then you need to be in the space longer because coal is opportunity. I'm not sure where I was going with that, but I lost it. It's okay, you know, it's the holidays, right? We got Ethereum here at $1,200. We got BNB here. Two hundred forty-four dollars and eighty-seven cents. We got XRPZ here, thirty-seven cents, and we got motherfucking Dogecoin here at seven cents. Which could be first placed by Dodge, which could be placed by Hamster Coin. You know, um, we got Cardano here at a quarter. We got Polygon Matic, eighty cents. I bought a lot of Polygon over the holiday weekend. Let me just start from the top here. Of course, I always buy Bitcoin every week. I always buy Ethereum every week. BNB, I did not buy. Dodge, I actually put some automated buys for Dodge. Not necessarily every week, more like every other month or some shit, right? Uh, but uh, I'm officially back in the Dodge. You know what I'm saying? So we got Cardano. Of course, I bought Cardano. Actually, Cardano's on automated. I buy that weekly. Never stopped since 17. Polygon Matic bought a lot of that. OKB, 23 bucks. Polka Dot, $4.48. You know, I mean, I've been waiting for quite some time for Polka Dot to go a little bit lower. I remember back when Polka Dot was announced around the same time as XTZ, and it was around like two to three bucks. It's getting close, so yeah. We got Tron here at five cents. LTC sixty-eight, almost sixty-nine dollars here. My ship, always buying ship. Bought a lot over the weekend as well. Solana season. Apparently, their TVL dropped ninety-eight percent, and their developers dropped like some fucking eighty, eighty-eight percent or something like that. I mean, I know I was giving Solana a hard time, but I mean, for fuck's sake, guys, like. When a motherfucking chain gets 51% attacked, is restarted, needs to be fucking reset, you know, and it still pumps, we know there's something wrong with it. I, I've been in the space long enough to know that, hey, if a train is restarted and 
51% intact, uh, probably not a good idea. You know, probably not a good investment. And especially when your fucking biggest cheerleader is a literal fucking thief and is now in house arrest at mommy and daddy's house. And all the VCs are literally not even, you know, pointing their dick at Solana. Yeah. But we'll see, guys. Like I've said before, man, if this thing goes sub $3, I'll probably, you know, buy a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, uh, that would... I could easily see maybe like a 5x i'll be happy with a 5x and guys full disclosure i am in solana but i'm only exposed through nfts right and i've discussed this many times with my homies who got me in to solana that i would fucking if i get a if i at least get a 4x or a 5x on my money with my nfts i'm out i'm literally out and you know what hey whatever money i make from cashing out my nfts turns out to be pretty good i'll probably buy more bitcoin you know what i'm saying shit <laughs> probably buy more bitcoin probably buy more ship fucking polygon right matik some more dodge right but i ain't putting it back into solana come on guys we got uniswap here at five dollars and 14 back to DeFi summer prices almost actually no that's not true I'm trying to think because I remember a lot of guys got fucked when they sold their airdrops for like two dollars and they regretted it but hey we're getting pretty close there so and then we got AVAX here at eleven dollars and fifty eight cents I'll give a shout out to chain link 587 my Monero 145 apecoin 363 v chain secured my suicide stacks Hedera secured my suicide stacks uh what else EOS, wow 88 cents tezzy's oh my goodness if you know what honestly guys if tezzy's goes down to 50 cents i'm i'm copying chilies phantom oh my goodness another another sad story um i got into phantom when it was like 40 50 50 mil back in DeFi summer long time ago uh, I don't know if you guys know this crypto influencer, uh, uh, this Asian bro. His name is Nekos. Uh, I don't know what happened. I was in a thread, and he was shilling FTM. And, of course, I paper hands out of that in 2020. So, uh, My graph here, five cents. I secured my suicide stacks with that. Stacks. Uh, where the fuck is Ecomi? I bought a lot of Ecomi over the weekend as well. But overall, guys, you know what I'm saying? Like I've mentioned before, diamond mind. This is going to test everyone's diamond mind because expect PA to be like this all throughout the year. And you know what, guys? We may get a 2019 style rally to quite possibly. I'm being overly bullish and optimistic because that's just who I am. You know what I'm saying? Um, if we get a similar rally in q3 this year like we did in uh, 2019 where btc literally rode up to 14k and everyone thought we were back the equivalent to that would probably be around 52k shit man that's it that 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 pump is good enough to get motherfuckers to fumble back into fucking crypto you know what i'm saying shit if if <laughs> If retail is on the side and they're like, yo, BTC's back up to 50K, I might have to get in on that, right? So we'll see. We'll see. I'm hoping for that. I'm hoping for that. That'll be nice. So let's get, let's get into Lux, guys. Let's refresh here. You know what I'm saying? I want to give a big shout out to everyone in the community. It's looking like 2023 is going to be our year, boys. We're going to be fucking eating damn good so we got lux here rank 217 lyxe soon to be lyx six dollars and 13 cents down 0.1 percent 36,000 sets up 1.1 percent on the btc pair 507,475 eth up 0.5 market cap 94 milli 24 hour trading volume 988k we went up like 300k maybe 400k probably from all the main net hype circ supply 14 milli total supply 100 milli that's obviously going to change when we look at the price boys 85.1 percent off the high of 41 and i've been asked 
this question many times if I'm going to sell. I do have an active DCA trading portfolio, I guess, shrugging. I'm literally shrugging my shoulders right now. You guys can't see it, right? Where I like DCA and then buy and then I outflow out of coup. Uh, uh, truthfully, full disclosure, I will take some money off the table 3x, 3 or 4x, you know what I'm saying? I have, I am so bullish on fucking Lux that I believe that we could easily 3 to 4x, and I'll probably take some money off the table, maybe 5, 10%, you know what I'm saying? Put it into USDC and buy the fucking, buy the fucking dump, right? We'll see. But uh, yeah, 3 or 4x. I will probably take some money off the table off of my trading bag of Lux where I have like meme orders and my everything that's on Koo. It's not a lot, guys. Not a lot. Again, don't copy me. Don't do anything. Please don't leave your shit on KuCoin, guys. Please do not. Do not fucking do that. Uh, if you're buying, just outflow immediately. You know, that's what they're there for. Unless if you're doing some degenerate shit like me and you're... <laughs> doing meme orders or whatever and you just trade on kucoin you know what i'm saying just it's okay keep the money on there but don't do any long-term type holds please guys just do not fucking do that right all right and let's take a look at etherscan here we have uh 14k holders boys can you fucking believe that we were there we were there when we were sub 10k holders and we just catapulted to 12k out of nowhere and now we're at 14 and when we were down to like six six when we were down to eight to nine k holders for like the entirety of part of 21 and all of 22 i said you know easy two to three four x when we main net it's probably gonna happen guys you know not financial advice but we'll see so i'm loving this uh, lots of people are hype oh my god guys when we get the artifact drop when it's official that they're gonna they got something special for us over in erc 725 mm, our holders are probably going to 5x like i'm not even i'm not even fucking joking you know what i'm saying like this is this is what i believe uh probably gonna fucking 5 6x holders straight up so that's all i'm gonna say so let's go into the charts, boys. Uh, let's take a look at the weekly. Again, like we are, look at these. Let's take a look at money flow first. So pretty much like, a, like what I've outlined for the past month or so about this momentum wave, it pretty much, it's looking like it's going to be pulling this move that I drew about three, four weeks ago. So it's actually doing it much sooner for this bullish divergence. So we're actually going to, move that up a little bit there because i was expecting it to do this and the timeline seems to be still around the same point here we got february where this will begin to move up especially if the rumors are true that we are going to get main net in march um that is going to be pretty pretty fantastic and i know the girls are excited i'm excited too so uh, let's see if that timeline will actually go through, right? So now when we look at the chart here in the weekly, we actually broke out. Email ribbons are bearish. They're fanned out, but they're bearish. We do have two bearish continuation signals, but it doesn't matter because that was weeks and weeks ago when we were on the one, two, three, four, five, six, six, posting six white weeks in a row. We've broken out of this resistance here pretty fucking cleanly, which is fantastic. <laughs> we can see here we've actually reclaimed and touched the golden pocket box and we've been watching this golden pocket level from 671 to 612 uh, support and resistance at 671 we've been watching this for quite some time and like i've mentioned many times before should we close and continue to close within this golden pocket box here we will pretty much just shoot straight up here to quite possibly 2x to 14 dollars because we just had this huge capitulation just this insane dump low volume right and just as fast as we went down we could easily go back up you know what i'm saying so uh and the fundamentals are lining up and big fucking shout out to my community holding me down you know what i'm saying with the great great news um they 
guys in my community found the chain analysis of Binance buying half a million fucking coins. Fabian and co. moving to Switzerland. You know what I'm saying? They went from Germany to Switzerland f to open up Lux. And it's all this other great shit. You know what I'm saying? Because this is what this is what we are. We are a fucking community. This is Web3. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate everyone bringing in the fucking amazing, amazing news in the Discord. And if you're not there, fucking just go find it. Jump in. If you like shit posting and retro gaming and crypto... Just fucking do yourself a favor and, and go in there. You know what I'm saying? And get. And also, we have. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm not. I'm not even gonna say anything. I'm not even gonna say anything. I'm just gonna let you guys find out for yourself. You know what I'm saying? If uh, my community is the right one for you, so let's take a look at money flow here. Money flow. The bloody money flow is actually on an uptrend, which is great. We did post a local bottom here on the 19th of December, and our momentum wave is looking like it's moving on up. Money flow is going on an uptrend. VWAP well above the zero line, stochastics pointing up, and we have this momentum wave moving up as well. We do have a level 74 eye of Sauron that is watching and waiting. We will see. Um, I will remain neutral bullish. We may pull a move like this, right? for the bullish divergence and go down a little bit and create another and create a hidden bullish divergence to pop off for march because let's be real guys march is, is q1 it's about 90 days away and we all know that there's going to be some delays let's be real this is crypto eth 2.0 took fucking eight seven years to deploy cardano smart contracts took four years or three to four years to deploy you know what i'm saying but all like all good projects uh you can't rush perfection right so and the same story with the two day just like the weekly here we completely smashed through this we completely smashed through this resistance line here um it is just beautiful guys one two three four five we've posted five two day pink candles and we have a bullish continuation with a trend reversal guys so this is very very powerful this is very very powerful uh, especially with confluence with our local bottom momentum wave moving up stochastics vwap as well as the money flow moving on an uptrend i'm going to say that this bullish continuation and trend reversal signal is real right so we will see how it all plays out how many days do we have we have one day till we close more than likely it's going to be another pink candle and we may stair step on up to 668 right so this is looking fucking fantastic let's take a look at the one day really quick and we can see here on the one day same same deal money flow on an uptrend VWAP over the zero line, stochastics climbing, and we have a and we have a momentum wave already moving on up at level 47, and we have a level 86 eye of Sauron just watching and waiting. However, this trend reversal here, followed by bullish continuation, looks really really good. I love that we are just reclaiming the golden pocket era era area. So let's just keep this momentum going. You guys know, I never stop buying Lux. And I know you never stop buying locks either. So let's just keep this momentum going into 2023. You know what I'm saying? Again, remember, guys, all of this can go to zero. Okay. Um, this is risky. It's not financial advice. You know what I'm saying? Please operate under the assumption that all of this shit can go to zero tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Right. So please be careful out there. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Later.